Okay, so good morning, uh, ABM students. So for my organizational management, this was uh, the continuation of uh, Chapter 2, Requirements of the Job. So, continuation lang to ha. So we have levels of proficiency in job competency. Competency has now caught up a wide swath among business executives in search for better performing employees. So, meron tayong uh, sinusundan or meron tayong uh, level kung ano ba yung competency ang kailangan sa isang trabaho. So, so once the core competencies are identified, companies can develop their levels of proficiency. So, companies could then assess the gap of proficiencies of their existing employees to the desired level of proficiency and then address these gaps through remedial training, coaching, cross-job, posting, and other means of improving proficiency. So these are the, uh, the following ways para uh, ma yung, yung proficiency ng isang trabaho ay makuha natin. If the employees are not good enough, so pwede silang dumaan sa isang uh, maayos na training, sa isang uh, coaching ng, ng mga seniors sa kanila, ng mga may experience sa kanila. So, pwede natin gamitin yon. So, para mas uh, ma-develop yung level of proficiency ng isang company and of course the employees. So, these are the sample proficiency levels and their definitions. So, first is the minimal. So, minimal knowledge. So, no opportunity to demonstrate. So, basic limited knowledge or overview. Then, for working, can do has working knowledge. So, uh, level stop for the proficiency. If your employees are minimal, or basic or working, ito yung mga pwedeng gawin. So, we have a uh, proficient. Can do very well, can guide others, or very proficient. So, ito na yung uh, dinidescribe natin, yung isang employee. Kung ano ba proficiency yung meron sila. Kung, it's, kung sila ba ay minimal, kung sila ba ay meron lang basic or yung limited knowledge, and then working, and then... Uh, we have the proficient, so ito na yung uh, can do very well, can guide others, very proficient, ayan. So, we have the word expert here. So, ano na siya? Acknowledge, expert, extensive, and in-depth experience. So, ito na yung uh, may mga experiences ka na na uh, pwede mo magamit through your uh, new job, new uh, workplace. So, ayan, uh, ayan siya. Then we have the mastery of competency. And then the last is the excellence in competency can be a mentor or a coach. So once you have this, this uh, last level of proficiency, so pwede ka na maging isang mentor or coach sa ibang kasamahan mo. So ito yung level of proficiency. So we have this... Um, Personal values. So, the word values is taken from the root word valor, which means strength. So, values are sources of strength because they give people the, the power of action. So, strength, yung, yung kakayahan or uh, yung mga uh, kaya mong gawin. Okay? So, our values are deep seated standards that influence almost every aspects of our lives our moral judgments our responses to others our commitments to personal and societal goals and then values are lasting beliefs or ideals that are shared by all members of the company so hindi mawawala sa isang company ang pagkakaroon ng values sa kanila o yung tinatawag natin core values. Kumbaga, ito yung isa to sa mga uh, vision and mission ng isang company is to, to value the values of the employees para maganda yung maging feedback at yung maging outcome ng trabaho. 
So we have these five core values. First is the excellence. So everyone must strive for excellence in their work, regardless of rank and whichever department or function. So we have this uh, another five core values. The second one is the customer focus, a recognition that a company thrives and continues to exist because of its customers. So no stone should be left unturned to please and maintain its customer. So customer focus is uh, very uh, significant to the employees too. Uh, sa mga audience or sa customer natin. Kasi uh, it gives uh, focuses or nagbibigay siya ng uh, halaga dun sa customer na uh, ibig sabihin uh, siya yung priority mo, priority mo sila. So, mahalaga yon for the uh, sa ating uh, core values. So, the third one is the integrity. So, honesty is the best policy. Its business can sustain without violating the code of ethical conduct. So, integrity, integridad. Uh, honesty is the best policy. Alam na alam nyo naman yan. Mga motto nyo yan na honesty is the best policy. But, in business, meron tayong tinatawag na uh, code of ethical or yung code of ethics. Ibig sabihin, may mga uh, may mga batas pa din uh, na nararapat para sa ganitong uh, estado or sa ganitong sitwasyon. So, hindi pa pwedeng sige-sige uh, lang. So, dapat iniingatan din natin yung integridad ng isang uh, company or ng isang workplace na pinagtatrabahuan natin. So, mahalaga siya. And then, we have this uh, teamwork. So, everybody should work as a team. Goals cannot be achieved unless all strive together in one direction to reach those goals. So, teamwork. Uh, mahalaga sa trabaho ang pagkakaroon ng teamwork. Kasi, uh, kung hindi ka makikisabay sa, sa goals na meron kayo, ang magiging sistema nyo ay magulo. Kung baga, hindi magiging maayos ang magiging feedback ng trabaho ninyo Sa, sa mga boss ninyo, sa mga manager ninyo, and, and most especially sa mga customers ninyo. Kung hindi kayo nakakaisa at ang ginagawa nyo is naguungusan lang kayo, gusto nyo kayo lagi yung bida or, or kung ano man, so, kailangan meron kayong teamwork palagi. So, hindi para takpan yung pagkakamali ng isa, kundi dapat uh, nagtutulungan kayo sa isang problema para uh, masolusyonan agad ng maayos. And then, we have the creativity and innovation. So, no work, product, or service is good. It can be better through creativity and innovation and then challenge the present status. So, hindi pa pwedeng dito lang tayo, stick na tayo dito. Mahalaga pa rin sa isang trabaho na sinusubukan natin ng mga may hirap at yung mga challenges na pa pwede natin harapin. Kasi dito lumalabas yung pagiging creativity natin, pagiging creative natin, at yung pagiging innovative natin sa ating trabaho. So, um, ayan, so challenge the present status. So, hindi pa pwedeng uh, okay na yan, okay na to. So, pwede tayong mag-improve, pwede tayong mag-grow. Ayan, so we have these uh, Filipino values, so we have also our own distinct value system. This is rooted primarily on personal alliance, especially those based on kinship, obligation, friendship, and commercial relationship. So Filipino values, ano-ano ba yung mga uh, character or personality meron ng isang Filipino? So... It shows us uh, yung pagiging kinship natin, yung obligasyon, yung pakikipagkibigan at yung uh, relasyon sa ibang tao. Hindi lang basta uh, relationship with someone but relationship kung ano yung trato ninyo sa isa't isa. So the main sanction against diverging, diverging from these values are the concepts of kia, pagiging mahiyaim. So, roughly translated as a sense of shame and uh, 
aim or propio or yung self-esteem. So, Filipinos care about what others will think, say, or do, which has significant influences in social behavior. So, tayo, mahilig tayong um, lagi natin tinitingnan yung, yung ano kayang sasabihin ng iba, ano kayang iniisip ng iba, ano kayang, ano kayang uh, dapat gawin, ganyan. So, kung, kung may nagawa ka man, uh, lagi nating pinangungunahan or nagiging futuristic tayo. Lagi nating iniisip na baka may sabihin sila sa atin. So, nandun yung word na hiya. So, yung pagiging uh, mahiyain. Kasi, uh, pinangungunahan natin yung sitwasyon na, na baka uh, bad yung kanilang sinasabi or pangit yung kanilang sinasabi yung kanilang iniisip so so pinangungunahan natin yon so ang tendency uh, na influensyahan niya yung ating social behavior so iniisip natin na oh, hindi ko nagagawin kasi susunod baka isipin lang nila na ganito ako ganyan ganyan so nagkakaroon ng sense of uh, shame or yung pagiging uh, nagkakaroon ka ng ano sa sarili mo, kumbaga, uh, nahihiya ka, uh, nagtatalo yung, uh, yung kaba mo na nahihiya kang tumingin sa iba na baka iba yung sinasabi sa'yo. Ayan. So, there is also that intate, innate concern for other people, the existence of friendship, being hospitable, religious, respectful to elders and the female members of the society, and of course, the fear of God. Ayan. So, this probably explains another Filipino value. So, the bahala na. So, leave it to bahala or God attitude. So, Filipinos also strive for interpersonal relationships and being sensitive to the needs and feelings of others. So, yung known as pakikiramdam. Yung, oy, makiramdam ka naman. Pero... Uh, the word bahala na is usually used uh, like you, you are a student and then magtate kayo ng exam, hindi kayo nakapag-review, hindi kayo nakapagbasa-basa ng lectures ninyo as in uh, wala kayong alam, so hindi nyo alam kung ano mangyayari. So, ang lagi nyo sinasabi is bahala na. So, bahala na si Batman. So, ang meaning nun is pinauubaya mo na kay Bathala or kay God o kung sino mang mga saints yung mga tinatawag ninyo, kung ano yung po pwedeng mangyari. So, uh, hinahayaan nyo na lang na kung ano man ang maging scores ninyo for your exam, okay lang kasi alam nyo naman sa sarili nyo na hindi naman kayo nakapag-review. So, all you have, so, all you need to do is to uh, bahala na to to God so or kay Bathala and then uh, nakakaroon din tayo ng feeling na pakikiramdam or yung being sensitive so makiramdam ka naman uh, alam mong nagugutom ako so pakiingin mo ako makiramdam ka naman so may bisita bumisita ka sa isang kaibigan mo so, you are expecting na pakainin ka niya. Kumbaga, makiramdam ka naman. So, you are being um, sensitive to the needs and feelings of others. Hindi mo na iniisip na, na magkaiba kayo ng iniisip. Kumbaga, magkaiba kayo ng pananaw ng perception. So, hindi mo na, nagiging sensitive ka doon kasi may, may gusto ka. May gusto kang mangyari na hindi naman uh, totally nangyayari. So, and then yung word na pakikiramdam. And then, sometimes there is a clash of these two value systems. In our indigenous model, for instance, our utang na loob value impels us to provide gifts as a token of appreciation to someone who have assisted in the processing of a document or transaction. So, ito, uh, madalas ito, alam kong baka na-experience nyo na to or marami na kayo experience about utang na loob. So, anong example natin dito? For example, um, kailangan mo ng pang tuition. So, kailangan mo syempre ng pambayad. Wala ka nun. Wala kang pambayad. And then, uh, yung 
yung kakilala mo, inutangan mo siya, pinahiram ka niya, so tatanaw ka ng utang na loob. Okay? Pero, ang nagiging mahirap dito is, uh, once naman na siya ang may kahilingan sa'yo at hindi mo naman kayang ibigay, so medyo uh, you feel bad. Nafe-feel mo na uh, ikaw uh, may utang na loob ka sa kanya, so dapat mong bayaran yun. Kung baga, yun yung usual na uh, na na dapat daw gawin. So, kasi, uh, nangutangan ka ng loob sa kanya, so dapat daw, uh, once na humingi siya ng uh, pabod sa'yo, dapat, uh, give chance ka din sa kanila. So, for example, uh, sa document or transaction, halimbawa sa munisipyo, kailangan mo ng uh, business permit kasi magtatayo ka ng isang business. So, kailangan mo ng business permit eh, may kulang ka ng isang requirements. Wala ka nitong ganitong requirements na to. Eh, dahil kakilala mo siya, uh, pwede mo siyang sabihan na kung po pwede, uh, bigyan ka na ng business permit kahit wala ka nitong, uh, wala ka nitong requirements na to. So, ang nagiging siste dahil uh, tinulungan ka niya. Ibigyan ka niya business permit kahit may kulang kang requirements. So, ngayon, ikaw, nangungutangan ka ng loob sa kanya. So, to value that utang na loob, you have to give something or to to provide gifts as a token of appreciation dun sa ginawa niya para sa'yo. So, yun yung word na utang na loob. Okay? Naintindihan ba? Ayan. So, dahiya, pakikiramdam, promotes mo, interpersonal relationships among workers but it could work against the requirements for aggressiveness in a sales job. So, hindi po pwede sa isang trabaho na ikaw ay mahiyain. Ikaw ay nakikiramdam. Dapat sa trabaho, ikaw ay, of course, you have the strength na uh, kaya mong makipag-cooperate uh, with others, kaya mong makipag-usap ng maayos. And then, If your business is about the restaurant or yung uh, food business, so to focus to your customer, you have to be uh, an observer. So, nako, wala na siyang uh, natapon yung kanyang uh, or anong tawag doon? Uh, Ubus na yung water nila sa, sa table nila. So, ikaw, na as an, as an employee, you have to give uh, their needs. Kung baga, kung alam mo or nakita mo naman na uh, gusto yung kanilang waters, kanilang table, so you have to give another for them. So, ang tawag doon is interpersonal relationship between you and his or her, between the two of you. Ayan. So, interpersonal relationship. So, the bottom line is the flexibility of a worker as one of his or her soft skills to switch from one model to another as the occasion demands. Okay. Ayan. So, I hope uh, this was the, uh, the last discussion for the chapter 2 requirements for the job or requirements of the job. So, I hope you really uh, under understood kung ano man yung diniscuss ko dito, kasi part pa rin naman siya ng inyong examination. So, ayan. so natapos na natin yung chapter 2, and I hope marami kayo natutunan, and then if someday magtatayo kayo ng isang business, uh, always remember yung inyong goals, yung inyong objectives, para sa ba to? Uh, para kanino mo ito ginagawa. So, yun ang uh, most important is to to motivate yourself to to be a successful one and inspire other people uh, through your success. So, thank you and God bless you. Bye-bye!